Uh, he has over a hundred employees oh. uh, and he has the same problem that I had in that retaining good caregivers and good nurses uh, was a difficult thing to do in that market because uh, again, the prices were so inelastic and uh, wages were fairly inelastic because if, if another company raised the wages, all your employees would move over there because it was not mm -hmm. a real, uh, you know, real advantage to do that. But if they have something like this uh, mortgage program, um, it'll be a lot easier to retain those employees, uh, you know, by the uh, by that company. Yeah, and I can you get a referral fee if 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 you if we get someone up in Oregon, can you send them and and get a little fee for connecting them or? Yeah, I can. Uh, um, in fact, I've got a um, uh, an agreement with uh, uh, Paris Realty Group up in Oregon. Okay. So I'm going to also include this and make sure I, I uh, send this to uh, Paris Realty Group because they have a number of uh, agents that work for them and they could all take advantage of this program as well. So are my, they my, in one city up there or are they all over the state? Well, she's licensed all over the state, but they're concentrated in Portland. But let's not worry about whether I um, yeah. get a commission or not. Uh, the important thing is that this is a great program that I'd like to see other companies take advantage of whether I get a benefit or not. Um, uh, in Oregon here, I mean, pardon me, in, in Nevada here, I can get uh, that referral fee and that's fine. And I do know a number of companies here. In fact, I was just up at the uh, Reno Air Race Association. And while I was sitting there waiting to talk to them, I thought, you know, this would be a good thing for the Reno Air Race Association. I wow. did hear they're trying to uh, relocate the races. They don't know where they're going to do it. But if they do, the Reno Air Race Association, which has probably a couple dozen employees, um, again, could take advantage of this program. Mm -hmm. um, so well, let's get into it. Um, I've yeah. got my slides up. This is a presentation that I typically make uh, to the employer. And um, essentially, you nailed it earlier. It's This is a free program. It's for the employer. Um, it doesn't cost the employer a penny. They just have to opt in and and decide to partner with Guild on this. Um, we take care of all the costs and the fees. And now the employer is able to offer one new incentive to all of their staff, from the CEO to the janitor. Everybody qualifies for the exact same incentive if they end up using Guild Mortgage to buy a home with or refinance with. Um and so this is an example of our sports store in town, like Robert mentioned. Uh, Shields has a couple hundred employees. They've got a lot of younger employees. Um, they're really big on grooming their staff and, and promoting from within. Um, their current store manager started as a clerk four or five years ago and worked his way up and now runs the entire store. And so that that's what they like to do is promote within. They also like to really educate their staff on the uh, equipment that they're selling. So Shields sells guns, they sell hunting gear, they sell golf clubs and golf gear. And each department has its own specialty person who really takes classes and specializes on the guns they're selling and the golf equipment they're selling. And, and they're really experts in their field. Well, when I met with the store manager about this program, he he likes that idea. That's part of the culture, and they want to take it beyond just the uh, department that they're selling. They want to make their employees whole employees and really make them the best version of themselves they can. So we created um, a program to add to their culture. They like to get they like to get their employees in front of financial advisors to teach them about finance, to get them in front of insurance agents, to teach them about the importance of life insurance or in front of counselors to teach them the importance of relationship and communication. And we took it, you know, we took that culture and instilled this employee mortgage program to give them one more advantage and, and one more piece of education that they didn't have before. And so now, um, they're one of our, our great partners in town. Um, this presentation I'm going to take you through, we're going to kind of touch on the new labor market. What does that look like? What does that mean? Um, how this employee mortgage program works, what it looks like to partner with a business, um, why choose Guild out of the 100 mortgage companies you could choose, and next steps. Um, 
So the new labor market, we all know competition for top talent. Um, there's a lot of talent out there, but it's it's stiff competition. If someone's paying a dollar more or has a better match on the 401k or lives closer to their apartment or house, um, you're going to have strong competition for top talent right now in the labor market. Um, the employee retention challenges. If you ask any business owner or HR manager, including Robert, you know this uh, from your past business in Portland, employee retention is a huge challenge. People are job hopping and leaving and relocating. Um, rising cost of living in Nevada specifically, but across the country, this, this program is national. So every state has has the same problem. Rising cost of living is, is just going up a lot quicker than um, pay is going up. Staffing shortages have increased workload. So a lot of companies are trying to do more with less staff. And so that increases your workload. And so if you have strong competition for good talent, you've got rising costs, it's hard to keep your employees, you're putting more workload on them. Um, if all this is happening, everything else being equal, employees choose perks. And so this is one more perk that your company can offer. Um, a employee appreciation equals employee loyalty. And so if you're showing appreciation, you're helping them with their business and their growth, along with financial uh, benefits for working with your company, um, you have a stronger chance of uh, employee loyalty and, and retaining that employee. Yeah, it is so easy these days to uh, to basically uh, change uh, uh, careers and businesses, and that was true back uh, when I had my company in Portland. But um, uh, regardless of whether it's Nevada or Oregon, uh, it's very easy for an employee to move from one uh, from one company to another. Um, it used to be a lot harder. People people would uh, get a job and stay there for life. No longer the case. Uh, uh -huh. People will go to where they feel they have the best advantage. And a program like this sort of lets them know that they can buy a home and um, uh, their company will help them uh, do that. Yeah. Well, so that's why, again, I'm so interested in this program. So you nailed it. I mean, we're, we're here to help attract and retain your employees by offering a new perk exclusive to Shields. So not every sports store has this perk. If someone wanted to job hop to a different sports store, um, they'd be missing out on a, a real benefit. Um, this helps employees afford to live and work in Nevada. We know it's expensive anywhere, especially in Nevada, and any amount of relief helps. Even if it's $2,500 off your closing costs, that's that's a huge savings. Or a free appraisal, which can be $600 to $1,000, that's a huge savings for, for first-time homeowners who want to control their expenses and get into a home. So we think um, educating is is first and foremost the number one thing we want to do. We want to educate people on the importance of staying on their job for two years or more. HR managers love this because um, if we're out there preaching what they're preaching, then the employees are hearing it from both sides of the table. Um, in our world, when we go to qualify a borrower for a home loan, if they have two years at the same job, it makes it so much easier to get them qualified and to use all of their available income in qualifying. If they've been job hopping to chase a small raise every year, it makes it a lot tougher to gross up their income and utilize what, what they receive each month. And so I like to educate employees and employers on the importance from our industry, how that affects a, a home purchase, um, we want to make them better employees. We want to get them in a home where they feel secure. They have a foundation to start a family. Um, they work harder uh, when there are statistics that you, you end up working harder and longer for a company. If you're a homeowner, um, it takes a lot of the mess of life out of the equation. If, if your rent isn't going up or you're not getting kicked out of your rental and having to move and switch school districts and switch sides of town, um, we, we really want to help people set a foundation so that they can succeed in life, family, and work. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> service level guarantees. Uh, Guild Mortgage has some really cool um, guarantees. So when we take an employee of yours who maybe has been on the job two years, they're young, they're getting an hourly rate, they maybe just got married, 
um, and they're looking to start a family and buy a house, we really protect that buyer if they choose to go with Guild Mortgage and get pre-qualified with us. We know it's intimidating to open up your book and talk about all the debts you have and talk about the credit score you have and um, talk about the savings you may have or may not have. It's it's real sensitive stuff. And so when a client decides to go through that process with Guild and put their trust in us, we want to give that back. And so um, we get people called credit approved. If you are approved through Guild Mortgage and we've verified your credit, we've pulled your credit, it looks okay. Underwriters have looked at your file and signed off on it and said, yes, this person can get a home loan. Um, if something goes wrong down the road with a loan, if we overlooked something and didn't do our job correctly, we back that purchase um, $1,000 on your anything you spent for inspections and 5,000 towards any earnest money you spent. So if it was our mistake and we messed up and overlooked something and you you chose to get pre-approved with Guild, um, we will back all of those outgoing expenses so you're not out of pocket um, in a transaction. So that's huge. A, a lot of other companies don't do that. Um, they'll take a client, they'll do a quick weekend pre-approval. They'll look, you know, they'll miss something and look it over. And before you know it, this client is in contract. They've spent some money. The house falls out of contract because they really weren't approved. And the lender says, oh, well, sorry, you know, we missed it. And you're out a bunch of money. Um, Guild does not do that. That, that um, just happened to a uh, <clears throat> to a buyer client of mine um, looking to buy a house. And the uh, it was actually under contract uh, with another buyer. Um, but uh, because uh, one of the financial issues was overlooked, um, that buyer uh, basically it fell out of contract. So my buyer is now trying to, uh, to uh, look at buying that home. So yeah, it's a really important feature. And I've seen the impact it's had on folks who, who don't do a thorough job of uh, making sure they're approved and they have everything, all their ducks in a row for that matter. Yeah. And it essentially makes your job easier and you can do your job more confidently knowing that somebody has been through guild underwriting they've had me put my eyeballs on it they've had our underwriters put their eyeballs on it both of us have signed off on it and given it back to you and said hey robert you know susie susie day is completely pre-approved enough with the numbers and loans she's good on this side you guys go out and find her dream house and they're and, and they're protected by this program. Uh, and that's they're protected, the, and and you know you can make a strong offer because we've put our eyeballs, we've signed off on everything. You're not going to get screwed in the end by getting someone into contract that may not be approved. Exactly. Exactly. Um. So what else can I tell you? Uh, we will work with your internal team to offer your employees home buying educational materials. So, um, this is kind of we go at your speed. Some companies really like to deep dive and get their employees a ton of education and um, wrap their heads around this topic. Other employers just want to let their staff know that this exists and let their staff choose. If, if they want to learn more, it's on them. Um, so it's really up to the business owner how in-depth they want to partner with Guild. We are happy doing a weekly presentation at their staff meetings all the way to just sending them a flyer and letting them tell their own staff. Yeah, it helps me quite a bit because um, I end up having to be the educator for folks trying to buy their home. Um, and I spend a lot of time trying to educate folks on uh, how to finance and how to make an offer and how to be successful in, in buying a home. This really helps me because it takes it allows me to step out of the loop and let professionals at, uh, at Guild um, educate the the employer staff. Uh-huh. Yeah. And we think there's nothing wrong with education. The more, the better. Um, it, it really is the key to a good transaction. The more, you know, the, the smoother and, and uh, better deal you're going to get. So we want to, we want to give employees as much education as their employer will let us. Um, mm -hmm. We also do one-on-one -on -one mortgage consultations. So if someone has a real specific scenario, maybe they had a death in the family or a marriage in the family, or they're um, having to uh, downsize through a divorce or upsize through a new job promotion, one-on-one um, -on -one is our bread and butter. We we prefer one-on-one -on -one more than anything. A loan 
is very specific to the person and the person's exact situation. No two loans are alike and no two loan programs are alike. So um, we can talk a lot of in generals, um, but what we prefer is to help people's exact situations. If you're, if you know you're going to be going through a divorce and you own a home, get with your loan officer ASAP to learn every hack and every way to protect yourself through that divorce. Um, if you're starting a family and you have a new job, get with a loan officer to hear what tips and tricks there are for new families or for new um, home buyers. Um, so one-on-ones is, is what we prefer. Uh, we will provide the company with marketing materials and communication tools. And again, we'll go as fast and uh, as far as the company would like us to. Um, That's great. What does working together look like? And how is this relative to time, effort, and involvement? Shields. All you really have to do as a business is partner with us by offering the employee mortgage program as a perk to your staff. That's all we're asking you to do. We want you to inform your employees that it's available and to expect more information to come if asked. Um, we want you to authorize Guild to communicate with your employees. So the way we typically do it is if you have a website where your employees look at their pay stubs or they look at their 401k or they look at their health benefits, we want to just add a link to that existing website where they can now go get information on home buying tips and education. Um, all they have to do is click the link where all their benefits typically live and they they have a, a ton of resources at their fingertips. Um, Guild, what do we do? We provide promotional materials to employees about the employee mortgage program. We offer educational seminars. We offer the 25% off your closing costs. We offer the free appraisal at closing. Um, to, the, to the employee, there's no obligation to participate. They can listen and not use us at all. That's totally fine. They don't even have to listen. Um, they can attend seminars and one-on-one -on -one meetings if desired. There's no obligation to attend anything. Um, they can receive the 25% off um, if they choose to go with guilt. They can receive the $740 uh, credited closing cost for your appraisal if they choose to go with guilt. But there is no, they're not locked in. The company isn't paying anything. It's just a perk that they can use if they desire. Mm -hmm. um, Guild, for one, we are a national company. We're in every state. Um, so we can do national employers. If you have a headquarter here in Nevada, but you, you service the whole country or world, um, we can help your staff in every state of the country, except New York. New York, we don't do any loans. Real estate is really funky and different in New York than it is in any other state in the country. And so that's the one place where we would refer you to someone else if you were going to buy a home in New York. Other than that, we can help you in every other state. Um, we are the number one lender in Nevada by volume. So we have a, a very big and, and solid reputation in Nevada. Our headquarters are in San Diego and uh, female owned and CEO. Um been around 60 years, very financially healthy. One of the benefits of going with Guild Mortgage is we service your loans. So um, the majority of lenders, including banks, they sell your loan as soon as it's closed to a third party servicer. And you've worked with someone in your hometown for a month to get your home. You feel comfortable with this person. They've opened up your books and your credit and your income. And then um, you no longer have a connection to that person because they sold your loan to someone in Kansas that you've never met. And now you're getting a bill from the company in Kansas that you've never heard of. They don't know how to pronounce your name. You don't know how to pronounce their company name. Um, but that's that's where your loan lives now. We are different. We want to be your lender for life. We don't sell your loan to a third party. We actually sell it to ourselves and then we service it. And that's helpful for many reasons. Um, but mainly you you have a go-to person, almost like a go-to attorney for free for life um, with Guild. And we have all of your documents saved. We have your work history saved. Um, so when you sell a house and buy a new house, it becomes a much smoother, easier transaction because we've been working with you this whole time. And we've been touching you once a year or once a month, showing you, hey, now is a good time to refinance or, hey, now is a good time. Uh, to get that investment property that you wanted. Interest rates came down. 
So we, we really do want to be your lender for life. And um, we can do that because we don't sell your loan like the majority of other companies. That's so important. You bet. Yeah, very important. Um, that's the number one thing that people kind of use Guild for. Um, local support. We are here in Reno. Um, obviously, we we are in every city and every state. Um, but me and Robert here are in Reno, Nevada. I'm personally licensed in Nevada, California, and Oregon. And so I would do loans for those three states. If it was a, a another city or state that needed a financing option, I would refer that out to a, a rockstar guild lender in that specific city. So they have a local expert to deal with. Um, and, you know, fluff, we were ranked number one in customer satisfaction for mortgage originations from JD Power Award. Um, Really simple stuff. This isn't rocket science. This isn't a hidden fee. This isn't a bait and switch program. This is a way to chip away at the um, national problem that employers are having with housing and employees. This is a national problem. It's expensive to rent or buy anywhere in the country. And employers have to deal with this every day um, with employees leaving them or not getting to work on time. Um, so this is one way to chip away at that problem that we're all facing. Um, if you can offer a little bit of education, a little bit of financial savings, we think it's a win-win-win. There's there's no risk, no harm, no loss. Uh, we've kind of lost our uh, uh, broadcast here. So uh, we can uh, probably, uh, I guess, uh, finish this off in another session. I'm not quite sure how we I only get 40 minutes. So. Oh, you get 40. Okay. So we must have started at nine. Yeah. So we can, we can do the finish up in another session. I think uh, they want me to upgrade and I'm not ready to do that. I don't have the password to um, Sierra Nevada properties. Uh, um, Zoom, but um, we could, uh, I don't know if we can actually start a new session right away or not. I think that, I mean, I ended right on, I think, I think we might be okay to yeah. chop and splice some yeah. good little one minute contents out of that whole session. Yeah, I can. Uh, and again, I can edit uh, any way we want to edit. Um, I'll, what I can do too, is I can add your, your final contact me to the end of the video. That's not a problem to do. And um, yeah, that's, that's I did, I did I want to add uh, a, a couple of comments on stability. It's not only a uh, good stability for the company. It's a good stability for the, uh, for the community. People mm -hmm. who have home ownership, um, again, uh, are stable employees. They're in state, they're, uh, stable, uh, citizens of the, of the community. And, uh, it, in fact, that's why, uh, FDR came up with, uh, Fannie Mae, Freddie Mac, Ginny Mae, uh, and uh, the FHA is to get people into homes because they make much more stable uh, communities. Uh, communities. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's one of the biggest reasons that we were able to uh, extract ourselves from the Great Depression, um, where other countries didn't. Uh, Germany didn't, and we saw what happened there. Um, and also in, uh, in some of the Asian countries, they didn't, because uh, it was a it was a worldwide or, uh, depression and we got out of it because we did programs like this and we got people into owning their own homes. They now have assets. They now have, uh, uh, I don't know if this is still recording or not, but they, they um, uh, now are a stable member of the community. Um, and also for the companies, uh, companies no longer had to, you know, um, uh, fight for employees. Mm-hmm. It was a much, uh, much more stable, uh, a much more stable uh, environment for the company, for the community, uh, for the nation as a whole. So, um, if we can get people into homes, and that's why I got into real estate. I I'm kind of semi-retired, and uh, but I I'm not very good at it. And um, <laughs> so to keep myself busy, I got my real estate license, and I really enjoy it. And uh, you know, I really do it not only just to sell homes and make commissions, it's to, uh, again, bring stability to a, a community that I love. Uh, Northern Nevada has always been a real um, sort of love in my heart because of the, the beautiful uh, countryside. 
and the community too i find that uh, it's a much friendlier community than others i've lived in uh-huh i would agree so uh keeping you know uh keeping folks uh stable uh and and working in their uh in their companies and living in the community where they have a real stake in the community is so important um so anyway uh, i don't know if it's still recording or not i don't think it is but uh, we can add uh, we can add something to the end of that too. I'll make sure that we can put up your uh, your contact information, and then I can just um, probably uh, set up another Zoom session so you can end up with a sort of a closing comments if you like. Okay, um, um, I think that's the easiest way to do it. I I'm going to have to talk to Jeremy because I've done a couple of these, and it the same thing happens every time I get to 40 minutes and it kicks me off. And I know that, uh, SNP, uh, pays the premium to get, uh, unlimited zoom. Hmm. So we'll have to do that. Or I, you know, I could do it, but it's, it's not cheap. Um, yeah. Unless you're, yeah, I don't use it a ton, but, uh, yeah. anymore, I used it more the last couple of years, but, um, yeah, I think that was good. And, um, I got to jump to another coffee meeting here in about four minutes. Sure. Uh, well, let me, let me, uh, it says, uh, I have to end. So let me end this and then I will, um, there we go. And what I'll do is I will, um, uh, do some editing to get out some of the nonsense and, uh, okay. uh, I'll send that over to you. You can take a look at it, uh, add any comments you want. I can do anything. I can add uh, text. I can add uh, graphics or anything else that we want. Uh, in fact, what we can probably even do is just have just record your comments and then add some B-roll, they call it, uh, to the end, some graphics and pictures and stuff like that. So, uh, yeah, a couple of things, too. I didn't have the chance to mention, but uh, I saw a st statistic from uh, um, uh, the Federal Reserve, and the average renter has a net worth of about $6,300. The average homeowner has a net worth of about $255,000, which is 40 times the net worth of a renter. So getting someone in a home is, you know, is my passion. It's, it's, it's something that I want to do because it's, it, it's better for everybody. It's better for the uh, homeowner, better for the community, better for everybody. So, okay. Um, Let's just sort of end it here. I will do a little bit of uh, editing. I will send it over to you when I have it ready. And um, uh, if we need to do a little finish up, we can add another session. I don't know if they let me do a se session right afterwards, but. Uh, I got to jump anyways. I got to yeah. get to another coffee meeting, but. Um, yeah, thanks again. This will be great for uh, for folks uh, for the Internet. Yeah, I think uh, we can make a cool little video out of this content. And if we got to add something for the end, that's fine. We'll just set up another sure. time to do 20 minutes. Cool. I was going to suggest that light over your head kind of sending like three beams of light right onto your forehead. I noticed that. I'm like, I don't know how to get rid of it. Oh, uh, can you, can you tip your camera down a little bit? I mean, uh, well, a, li a little bit just so it's touching the top of your forehead. Like, right, so your forehead's right on the top of the screen. Just, yeah, tilt the screen a little, yeah. Another thing you can do is what Daryl does, and he turns off the overhead lights, and then he has just a ring light in front of him. Yeah. And that would help. Uh, yeah, it is kind of annoying. Uh, but it works. It, it, I mean, it won't look uh, won't look horrible, but um, uh, it's just a suggestion. I, I've got two uh, LED lights on either side, one that shines on my green screen and another one that shines on my face. And it works pretty well. Uh, yeah. And it's something that, those ring lights are cheap. In fact, I saw them in the dollar store. You can put on on your phone actually, um, okay. and uh, you can buy a ring light for under fifteen bucks and just sit it on your desk, and it works pretty well. Daryl does that, yeah, uh, and uh, works well for him. So anyway, thanks again. I'll do some work, and uh, we'll we we'll get this video up. I think it's going to be an important uh, uh, piece of uh, marketing for both Guild and for for me. Yeah, definitely. So, okay all right cool. bud keep me later. posted yep give me a call if anything else comes up this weekend oh yeah and uh and ann ann is now looking at houses in the 360 to 370 thousand range and i i does I, she hear something that we didn't no she just wants 
you know, the, and I told her the other day, I said, you know, you want well, something. If, if, if her son gets on, if we wait six months for her son, then she can shop at 400 if she wants. Yeah, and I, I told her that too. And I said, you know, you, you have to realize that, um, um, you know, that it's what it is and you can't really change that. And yeah. um, until you get your son six months into working, if he'll do that. Right. And, um, and if it's all over the table, not under the table. Yeah. And she's she's trying to buy houses that she can't afford. And that was the message I tried to give her. I said, you, you know, you you don't have the ability to buy houses at 365. Well, can I get a program for this? And can I get a program for that? And I Didn't said, bring we that explained that office. to you. Yeah. <laughs> but, wow. you know, yeah, she wants she wants lots of land. She wants a three bedroom house. And the ones we looked at, the one we looked at yesterday was just a real, in fact, when you're talking about uh, uh, having a home inspection and appraisal, uh, that was really important. I want to sort of add into there that that's one of the things that we were going to look at for the house you wanted yesterday is that uh, I see a crack in the foundation. We need to get an engineer in there. I saw, um, you know, we need an, an appraisal because I think it's overpriced and uh, an appraiser, even if we had to pay for it. Uh, would be a, a big advantage to uh, to Anne to be able to buy that house. So yeah, cool. Okay, all cool. right. Have a good one. Have a great weekend. Yeah, Talk thanks so much. Yep. <clears throat> Bye now. Bye.